Hi everyone, thanks a lot for tuning in today. On the Enterprise DNA platform, there's a great number of fantastic reports using the latest features and visualization techniques. But it was brought to my attention that one topic hasn't really been covered yet and that quite many people have asked questions about it. So, and because I do know a couple of solutions to the problem, um, I decided to do a video about it. The topic is how to add videos to a Power BI report. There's different ways, so today I'm going to show you a couple of ways. I'm going to show you my preferred way, the way I would normally do it. And I'm also going to show you a couple of ways that many people have attempted to do, but that way unfortunately simply doesn't work due to a couple of restrictions that we have to deal with. So let's get started. On the report on my screen, you can already see that I have this visual here and when I click on play, it actually plays a video which is hosted on an external website. Um, it is actually hosted in an Azure Blob Storage. If we look at the measure, we can see that the measure is using the HTML video tag um, and then we are just linking to the MP4 video file in the blob storage account and this can be done if you're using the HTML and CSS viewer custom visual which will make it um, which will allow you to play videos within the report in case you don't have an Azure blob storage account I'm actually gonna create a brand new um, storage account in my Azure portal and I'm going to show you how to upload videos. I'm also going to show you how you can make um, secure links which are not public to the world in case you want to restrict access to your videos. But before we do this, I'd like to show you some other ways that work and also one way that simply doesn't work. And I'll also try to explain the reasons why it doesn't work. So what you could do, one very simple way is you could just go and insert a button. I enter the blank button and in the actions I could just say I want to link to a web URL and this web URL can be a video that is hosted on YouTube for example. So if I head over to YouTube and I select um, any video and select the, or copy the URL of the video and then go back to, to my report and I could say this is where the user should go when they click on this button. So now when I click on this button, I actually go to get to, to YouTube and this video plays. So that works fine, of course, um, and that's a very simple way of doing it, but really sometimes you want to have the video inside of the report. So, and you might say, um, okay, Azure Storage sounds good, but why would I do this? Why would I not just use a YouTube link? Well, that's exactly what a lot of people have tried and that's the way that simply doesn't work. So if we go back to YouTube and what we would do normally, we would go to share and we would get the embed link. So this is the embed link. If we were going to embed this video on our website, for example, that's exactly the code that we would use. So this should also work in our Power BI report, right? Well, let's see. Uh, I go back to the report and let me just create a new measure. I call this YouTube and paste in the code here. And whenever we add HTML code to DAX, we need to get rid of the double quotes and replace them with single quotes. So one way of doing this is we just highlight one of the double quotes, then we press Control Shift L, which then highlights every double quote. Then we just type in a single quote. Um, yeah, that was not very smart. So single quote, and now every double quote has been replaced. We just need to add double quotes in the beginning and in the end. So that's the link that we would use on a website and that should work. Let me just create a new page, add the visual again and add our newly created YouTube measure. 
So we can already see that it does not play in Power BI Desktop, but there's no error message, which might be a bit confusing. So what happens if I publish this report to the Power BI service? Let me just do that. I publish it to the test workspace that I have created. And in the browser, once published, we will actually be able to see an error message. It will still be quite a technical error message, but um, let's look at it anyway. So the video still does not play, um, but in the browser, I have more tools and then I have developer tools. And every modern browser has this. Um, it's just, it might look a little bit different or it's a different way of finding it, but you have this in your browser. And then we get a couple of errors, right? And if we look at this, what's the error we have? So one of the errors coming from YouTube, so we see that something's wrong, YouTube is, is um, throwing an error, is um, because our custom visual or every custom visual is restricted in functionality. So we are uh, custom visuals, technically they are um, inside of a, of a restricted, of a sandboxed iframe element in the browser uh, with limited functionality. So that's basically the reason why some functionality simply is not possible for us to do. And that's really, this is just what we can see here. Um, we are in a sandboxed iframe that does not allow same origin um, so we can simply not play this video from, from YouTube. So it's a combination of restrictions from YouTube and from Microsoft. So there's simply no workaround for that. Um, there's no way we'll, we'll find a way around this. So this is exactly why I would recommend using an Azure Blob Storage because then we are in full control of who uh, and how the files can be accessed. Okay, let me show you how this can be set up. I am now in my Azure portal and I have um, a test subscription and when I select it, um, we can go to resource groups and for test reasons, I'm going to create a brand new MT resource group. So I'm going to create a new group and I will call it test, test video. I need to de de uh, define which location I want this to be created. I choose Switzerland North and just create the resource group. Within the resource group, I then want to add a storage account storage account just search for it and it is the one from Microsoft that's the one I want I create it and then I need to define which subscription this should be in um, yes but I am the rest the owner. I'm not sure about this error there, that's a bit strange, but let's just try to continue because I know I am the owner. How to make Azure Management. Hang on, did I create, did I select the correct resource? Uh, storage account. Let's see again. Yes, storage account. Great. That looks better. Okay, and I want to add it to the test video and I call it video storage test. I can delete this later on again. Somebody else is using this name already, so I just add KTeam in the end. And um, where would I like this to be set up? I want this to be in Switzerland as well. Um, now, of course, with every Azure um, resource, there's a lot of settings that we can go through. I want to speed this up a little bit, so I'm just going to um, go with 
settings that just work for my specific case now and also as I said I'm gonna probably delete this again um, after the demo anyway so I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at how I create this and I will just create it the way it is defined right now the deployment of a new resource might take some time um, we can see up here that currently it is still deploying and once it is deployed I think a storage account usually takes one or two minutes um, I will head over to the storage account and upload the video so my storage account has been created and now I can start adding videos to it so I'm gonna enter the storage account and in the storage browser and uh, select blob containers and add a new container I will just call it video and then I need to decide whether I want to make it a private container or an anonymous container um, I'm gonna go with the private one because the anonymous one um, there it is quite simply it means that everybody with the URL to the video or to, to the file within the container can access it but the private one needs a bit more to set up so let me create it in private and then I'm just gonna add a video to it so I'm gonna select upload and I have a video prepared over here just drag and drop it upload the video so now when I select the video file I get the URL so I can copy this to my clipboard and I want to enter into a private mode window just to be sure that I'm not locked in just to see how this would look like for an external user so when I navigate to this URL I get an error message message because the blob container is set to private so I simply don't have access to it um, so what do I need to do because basically I want to be able to access this video I go back into my storage explorer and what I'm gonna do is for the entire container I'm gonna add um, an SAS token so I'm gonna select generate SAS and my token should be valid starting from today until next year uh, generate the token and basically this little string here that's exactly the token that I need to remember so when I copy this and I go back in here uh, the URL still doesn't work but when I add a question mark in the end and then paste in the token and the token basically um, lets me authenticate so now I can access the blobs within my container now I can play the video so this URL including the token is what I can also use within my report so when I go back to the report and I just create a new page again um, and let me just reuse this measure that we already have and I just replace it with my new URL so we use the video tag we also define that we want the video to fill a hundred percent of the space of the visual and of course we want to show the controls so the play and pause button and so on um, and that's it and then we add the source so the website the URL of the actual file and in this case we also added this um, SAS token to it so let's see what happens when I add the HTML and CSS viewer get the video in here and it should now play the video that we have just uploaded to to the blob storage um, and this works in private so I need to have the SAS um, token otherwise I cannot access it let me just quickly show you how you would do this without the SAS token so if I go back to my storage account um, I can just say that my video container now should be not private anymore but we want to say that um, blobs can be accessed by anyone so click OK 
go back to the report and now I can basically remove the token and hopefully I'm still able to play the video. Excellent. Which also means that of course now everybody with this link can access the video. So when I add it in my browser also the video plays. Um, Alright. So I think this should be it in terms to how can you add videos to your Power BI report. So um, a quick recap. Embedding videos which are hosted on YouTube is simply not possible due to restrictions coming from both Microsoft and YouTube. One easy way which also works without the use of any custom visuals is to just add buttons with hyperlinks to the videos. This can be a video to YouTube, but also, of course, I could add a video or a, a hyperlink to the video on my blob storage. So that would also work. It would work in a secure or also in a public way. But if you want to have your video embedded within the report, which I personally um, find it find the easiest way then or the best way or the most user-friendly way let's say then um, using an Azure Blob Storage is from my point of view an easy way to set it up um, it's quite convenient and also Azure Blob Storage usage is quite cheap so that would be my recommendation and now I hope that you all go ahead and embed videos into your reports um, personally, I find it very helpful to add end user help videos. So, you know, the end user can click on a, on a question mark in the top right corner and then find a video from the report developer which explains how the report is actually being used. Um, but of course, there's a lot of different use cases. Um, so yes, I would very much like to hear from you, your experience, why do you use videos, how do you add them, so please comment um, to the video below and we are very happy to hear. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and please go on and embed as many videos as you can in your reports. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.